Costumes. Like, I just saw them backstage, and wow, the level of artistry and um, the effort, and you can just see the detail that went into each girl's costume was unbelievable. This and, you know, it's really one of my favorite segments because you get to have a taste of what the culture, or not necessarily culture, but what traditions, what inspirations, what colors and cuts and textiles and silhouettes um, are from a certain country. So it was so amazing to see. And um, I just want to say thank you too to all the amazing feedback that I've been receiving from my costume. And also wanted to clarify some things um, about it. So a lot of you were asking um, if it was meant to have light. Yes, it was. My parol was meant to light up. But for some reason, I don't know why, um, before the show, I was trying to turn it on and it wouldn't turn on. And then I tried to turn it on again and it did turn on and it turned on twice in a row. So then I left it. And then just before I went out on stage, I tried to turn it on again and again, it wasn't working. So I'm not sure if the wires just got moved during the transport here to Thailand or um, what happened. But just so happened that on the day itself and on the time that I walked out on stage in Ilauko or the lights, they weren't working and I'm really, really up sad about it because I would have loved to show the full effect of what my team had put their time and effort to and we, we really went over mountains just to try and get the light and the synchronization of the light within the parol but um, regardless, um, I just want you guys to know that it was a little bit of a technical mishap and other than that, um, and, and the other thing that everyone's asking, was it so from the gap? The parole itself is really heavy, but the thing was, that's why we put wheels. I was initially supposed to carry it, but the weight was just too, too heavy and it was on my shoulders, so we decided to put it on the wheels. And the wheels we prepared for was like for a flat floor, like a tile floor or a wooden floor or a, just a smooth floor. And um, I didn't expect that the floor for the national costume competition would be carpet. So when I walked on the carpet, the wheels weren't running smoothly and it was really, really hard to do. So that is why um, it was a little bit difficult to put my costume. But um, you know what, guys? I just wanted to show the, the Filipino artistry and um, all the inspiration that I took from our country in the national costume. Um, I know it would have been nicer if I could have walked better, but um, I really fell in love with the concept of the parol and, you know, we wanted it to be authentic, so it was made with every consideration in mind. We used fiberglass, it was handmade in Pampanga, and um, that was the lightest that we could get it, and I still couldn't carry it, and that is why we had wheels, and that's just what happened. But, um, regardless, I'm just really, really, really grateful for my entire team that allowed me to put this together and also the third episode of This Is Philippines will be coming out later for Mindanao. Since you guys know the costume already and uh, reading your comments of seeing how proud you are, how much you're learning from uh, my national costume, that is exactly what I wanted. Like this was made for Filipinos. I wanted all the Filipinos in Sana or from other countries to really appreciate our culture, whether it be the artwork or the fabric or the textile. I wanted that to be the aim of my national costume and to see some comments saying that's exactly what it's done for people that they've learned or, or discovered something about Philippines. Just that is exactly what what I was aiming for. So, maraming maraming salamat sa lahat ng people. I couldn't have done it without you guys. We're bringing my vision to life.